going on YouTube is your boy Ron back with another video before we get started make sure you please like comment subscribe and all that good jazz today we're gonna be discussing um, I'm gonna be reacting to a female I don't know this is going pretty viral a couple people have already uh, responded to it um, it was a woman on TikTok and she went viral on world star um, saying coming to the realization that she has nothing to offer to a man and reason why I wanted to speak on this is because women always get offended when you ask them what you bring to the table and sometimes I wonder if maybe it's just the way that it's worded why they get so offended because in reality all of them all a man is really asking is you know like what is being in a relationship with you entail in other words you know what i mean if i decide to make you my girlfriend like what am i getting out of it if i'm taking myself off the market for you what am i getting out of it that's pretty much all men are asking but for some reason women get so well, i don't know in, in anything that involves a woman I don't know, it just seems like nowadays anything that involves a woman actually have to think or actually have to put some kind of effort in they get offended about, but that's a whole nother story, man. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. So the point of me making this live was basically, I realized today that I have nothing to offer a man, nothing. And I feel like it took, number one, it took me uh, 32 years to realize it because I just found that out today. So I was today years old when I realized it. And then um, it took me a lot of pride swallowing to be able to admit it. Um, I'm gonna tell you why I feel the way I feel. This is not based off anyone else. This is only based off myself, but I just wanted to share it just in case it may help somebody else. I feel like I don't have anything to offer to a man because a man asked me what I had to offer him. And it was the way he asked that made me realize that I don't. He simply stated, I realize that you're single, but tell me what would I benefit from having you as my woman? Now, outside of the basics, like, oh, I look nice, I can cook, I work, I didn't have nothing else. Hey, I apologize that, um, it, look, it sounds like she was getting a message. Uh, while she was recording this because I can, can kind of hear the bell ring and taking care of kids I don't know necessarily what I'm into so there there goes hobbies I'm not necessarily sure my feminine level of energy because majority of my relationships I wore the pants so how can you alright now listen to that she said the majority of relationships she wear the pants now just from my observation, I'm looking at this chick and she looks like the typical black chick that I would meet at my job, in the neighborhood, going to the store. She's not a bad looking woman, but you can look at her and you, you can, what I've noticed about women, man, especially black women, you can kind of just look at them and, 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 and you can get a good feel for what kind of dude that, that they like. And looking at her, it seems like... Oh, damn, it kept playing. I might have to run it back, y'all. Seems like, you know, she just likes the typical hood dudes, but she probably deals with guys that don't got nothing going for themselves, probably don't even got their own place or car or any of that. Like she looked like she come off like she just been dealing with Pookie and Ray Ray's that ain't have really nothing else to offer. Therefore, she was wearing the pants. I can offer cooking for you, but then it, to me it comes at a price because if you're coming and you're sitting and you're eating my food and you're not providing any of it, I'm a fill away. So now I'm offering you bitterness. That's not anything a man wants. Why would you want a bitter female? Well, I'm bitter because of my own merits. So it's not your job to fix the bitterness. It's my job to fix. As, as much as I want a man to come to me ready, able to provide work and handle himself, I think that me as a female, I need to have my emotions in check because if a man wants peace, I don't have any because I'm frustrated. I'm bitter, I'm emotional, I'm upset. So I may... 
And that's probably the one thing men value most over anything is peace. We're not, we don't, we're not trying to come home and argue with you. Especially when we probably been working all day, probably arguing with co-workers, frustrated because we ain't getting done what we need to get done at work. Like, we supposed to be able to come home and unload, relax. Home, a home, the home should be a place of solace, man. I say the same thing about the gym for myself. But if you got a woman at home, man, like she should always be your solace, man. Period. Point blank. You know, because today I realized that I don't have anything to offer a man outside of good looks. And I learned that I don't want a man for just his looks. So how can I be so selfish and se and and only offer a bare minimum and expect so much? That is some unfair shit. Now, I don't know about all these other females. Other females may not agree or even feel the way I feel about the children that I have and the lack of help that I have with them. So it's like I can't necessarily be so nurturing to you when I'm frustrated at the amount of nurturing that I'm already doing. So therefore, I know I can't offer you that. I can offer cooking for you, but then it, to me, it comes at a price because if you're coming and you're sitting and you're eating my food and you're not providing any of it, I'm going to feel away. So now I'm offering you bitterness. That's not anything a man wants. Why would you want a bitter female? Well, I'm bitter because of my own merits. So it's not your job to fix the bitterness. It's my job to fix as, le as much as I want. Okay, I think man, they must have looped it because I don't remember it being that long. But uh, yeah, man. And then you see what she said about the kids. Like she, for real, she needs to reevaluate because I mean, she's 32. Multiple children. You gotta think, man. Any man that doesn't have kids that's dealing with her, man, you taking on a lot. I think what we need to take from this video is that at least she was honest. At least she could admit her faults. At the end of the day, though, we need more women to wake up like this like this woman here did because if not it's only gonna get worse and we can only man we can only hope and pray and you know maybe that you know more women speak up like this you know what I mean and maybe the word will get spread um because I don't think women really I think I think it's a lot. I think there's still a lot of women out here that really don't understand how bad it's getting. And I think part of the reason why is because it's easy it's easy to ignore how bad it's getting because women are still going to get all the attention in the world thanks to social media and the upbringing of you know the last generation or two that have been emasculated and they've pretty much they've pretty much been brainwashed to put women on a pedestal while they down here i'm like and, and and it's funny because women women say they want that but they don't respect men that are like that see this is why as much as we should be holding both sexes accountable and I want to hold both genders accountable. If if we're holding both genders accountable, I'm sorry ladies, but I got to put y'all up. I got to put y'all further up. Because at the end of the day, y'all control the dating market. I mean, there's a reason why there's a reason why there's far more men on dating apps than there are women. Well, you can look it up. All these dating apps, there are far more men on them than there are women. Because for one, most attractive women don't even need to go on dating apps for one. 
to all the social media outlets that we got now are pretty much dating apps Facebook Instagram snap I mean who with, with, with all those outlets who needs a tender who needs a bumble who needs a hand yeah you know I mean unless you're just trying to be a sugar a sugar baby then go to seeking arrangements like the dating market is coddled towards women yet women are so frustrated and upset with the results that they're getting in the dating market and that is because everything that they push for as far as sexualizing themselves and all the bad behavior that they try to get men to accept it's literally working against them all that rebelling is just shooting themselves in the foot when it comes to the day and market but because they're allergic to accountability what do they do they point the finger at the under gender and that's how i'm gonna end this man i just shout out to shorty man keeping it a buck you know like we need we need more wicked women waking up hopefully a lot sooner than 32 and well before they start having kids and then maybe you know maybe in maybe in the future we can go, go back to having nuclear families man because the way we going man it, it ain't it, it ain't look the future ain't looking too sweet all right make sure y'all like comment subscribe and all that jazz and i catch y'all in the next video deuces